There we go. We got Rue on the Greninja. And Ein playing as Roy. Right out the gate, Ein playing this Roy really, really fast moving forward there with the short hop airs. But Greninja getting that first damage. Rue doing well. The forward smash there. But control the stage really giving up right away as Ayn comes back. Manages it. Shields that whole, whole combo there. I mean, let's be honest, it's just the standing tap combo. Oh, <laughs> nice forward air from Rue. Doesn't quite hit with that shuriken. But the control of the stage definitely in the favor of Rue here, only taking 30% himself where he's got Ayn up to 146. Just looking for a killing blow. Uh, that dash is not going to do it. And something a little more substantial. That's about three dashes that I've hit since seeing his opponent over 130. But nothing that gives that knockback necessary to get the killing blow in here yet. Here you go, forward air knocks him around. Up to 77 now. There we go. Getting the multiple hits off with that shuriken. That's going to get the first kill over. Now carrying 77% over, though. Definitely gave up about an extra 30% over what he could have if he had gotten an earlier kill there. And I is looking to even this up real hard. Having an opponent up to 93, some close attacks from Roy with that sweet spot being near the hilt of the blade will get your opponent out. But aerial juggle there. Oh, almost gets the adjustment for the, the side. I mean, what? That's been four or five aerial juggles there, the up air. Getting a good 50 plus percent onto Ayn. Oh! Really nice there from Rue. And that's going to get another stock. Holding on to all three still at 109. Definitely did not expect the second stock to go that way. But he turned out a bunch of damage through those up airs, one after the other, and then gets a killing blow when recovering. It's going to be hard for Ian to come back here, being down the two stocks. <laughs> And then gets the grab, throws out to the side, goes for the edge guard, but way over jumps it. And there we go. There's a stock going out. I'm picking up one. But Rue here, he's got 100% onto Ayn. Really should be, once again, one good hit. But we've seen before how long it can take Rue to get, it at, uh, get one good hit off. And there goes the slide tackle again. He's doing better with that counter earlier. We'll see if he goes back to that and absolutely he wants that killing blow. But gets a smash attack and that'll do it. Game two. Or no, game one. I just did not update this. I'm a terrible person. So game one going over to Rue there. And here we come into game two. Rue sticking on the Greninja. I'm moving over to the Donkey Kong. 
Really damage is nice and close here. It's going to be interesting seeing how Ayn does here, moving from a character who can be played as quickly as Roy can onto Donkey Kong, who's just so much larger, so much slower, but really has that massive damage available. You just see there from the slap, it goes from falling behind to damage to reclaiming it. Gets the pound in. Oh, and there we go. Just a nice quick punch. Got to guarantee that, especially early on. Pretty easy to tap yourself or mash yourself out of that hole when you're at low damage. Going for the spike there, not quite able to land the timing on it. Well done by Rue to get back to the stage, but here we're fairly even in damage. <laughs> now only just out of the frame, not near the blast zone. They're about halfway to blast zone. Rue getting that juggle further and further, and that is going to be enough there for his first stock. Going over to Rue. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Bouncing off the ground with the forward air. Really nice. And there we go. That's just straight up two stock as we head into this. Going, going for that slap over and over. Just not quite able to land it. Headbutt unable to land as well. Down air misses, but there we go. Into the roll and lands two rolls. The dodge on the slab. That was well done by Rue. Would have been another 20% of how he would have gotten chunked from that. So good timing to get to dodge out that exact move. And there we go. That up air again from Rue. Juggling with it so effectively. Three quarters of the way to the blast zone there. And I end up to 100% damage here. Not quite the killing blow, but right on the edge of the blast zone. The fast fall was too much. Little bit of an SD there, trying to get in underneath that shuriken, and definitely messes yourself up sometimes. Greninja rolling away from that slab. I mean, this monkey's trying to splat the, the little frog, but he just can't do it. Too quick. And there we go, Rue, he's gonna, yep, juggle into that up air over and over. He loves doing that, and it works so well. That's one of those things that if you're his friend, you just yell at him, stop it! Vengathur, <laughs> Mogar, Station 3, please! Vengathur, Mogar, Station 3! Up to 100%, the roll's not gonna be enough to chuck him out the side there, though. But at 100% himself, Ayn's getting really close to death. Oh, the back air from the monkey brings it down to one stock. But immediately Rue comes in and finishes this one off. 2-0 for Rue.